and we've seen stabilized stabilization over the last couple of weeks. Nevada's cases of COVID-19 remain high, but we are seeing a downward trend. Continuing coverage of the coronavirus pandemic tops two news at seven o'clock. Today, Nevada saw an increase of more than 500 coronavirus cases. That's the lowest daily increase in more than a month. I'm Ryan Kennedy. I'm Ariana Bennett. Thank you for keeping it here. Now, it brings our total to more than 58,000 cases of coronavirus in the Silver State. The slowdown, though, in new cases is promising. Unfortunately, today the number of deaths also rose by 15 to almost 1,000 total. Clark County has had more than 50,000 cases and Washoe County has had more than 5,900. State and county leaders say we've learned a lot over the last five months, including what mitigation efforts are working, and they hope we're on the downside of the peak. Paul Nelson has more. Nevada is five months into the COVID-19 state of emergency, but that doesn't mean there's light at the end of the tunnel. This is a long-term effort uh, that we have uh, to fight COVID-19, and it's really not going to be over until we have a vaccination that's available. Officials say the recent surge in cases is mostly a result of private gatherings. Dick also pointed out a spike after the 4th of July and one family get together in particular. Out of that, we saw um, an outbreak with uh, nine cases of uh, COVID-19 and one fatality, uh, sadly, that resulted from a family trying to get together. Dick is concerned that bringing students back to school will cause another increase. The county is using $6 million of CARES Act funding for contact tracing and other resources in the school district. We're working together to uh, try to make sure that whatever can be done in terms of uh, mitigating the spread or, or uh, helping the school district can be done. Cases remain high statewide, but there has been a dip in tests and cases in the past week. I do believe that we are experiencing uh, an actual positive trend in, um, in, in our declining case growth. Washoe County is meeting the metric for test rate per day, but the case rate is more than twice the threshold, and its positivity rate is 1% higher than required. Starting next week, Charles River Laboratories will begin testing some samples for the county. Hopefully that will also improve the turn turnaround time that we get from the, the state lab. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Now, since March, nearly 500 Nevadans under the age of 20 have tested positive for coronavirus. That's a little less than 12% of the total cases. Most of the cases are people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. And